frailty isn't just aging. It's not something that suddenly happens in your 70s or 80s. Frailty is what happens when your body loses reserve, the ability to adapt, recover, and respond to stress. And at the center of that reserve is the most important organ of longevity, your muscle. Muscle isn't just strength, muscle is metabolic. Muscle stabilizes blood sugar. Muscle protects your brain. Muscle preserves your balance. Muscle is independence. And when muscle quality declines, everything downstream begins to suffer. So today we're going to answer the questions that actually matter. What does frailty mean? What are the early warning signs? Why does it happen to men and women long before old age? And here's the big one. Can it be prevented or even reversed? Because no matter your age, you can rebuild muscle and you can regain strength and you can absolutely change your trajectory starting right now. For most of my career as a physical therapist, I viewed frailty through the traditional lens, weakness, balance loss, falls, gait changes, deconditioning, and those things matter a lot. But it wasn't until I repaired my own metabolic health and I reversed my own chronic disease and began practicing as a primal health coach that I saw the bigger picture. Frailty is not primarily a movement problem. Frailty is an energy problem. Your muscles are not just for motion. They are your largest metabolic organ. They store glucose. They burn fat. They improve your insulin sensitivity. They produce myokines that protect your brain, your immune system, and your cardiovascular system. When the muscle loses metabolic efficiency, the body quietly enters an energy crisis. And that crisis shows up long before anyone looks frail. Frailty is not random. It is driven by two powerful processes most people have never been taught about sarcopenia and anabolic resistance. Now, we've talked about sarcopenia before. It's age-related loss of muscle mass, strength, and function. And here's the part that surprises almost everyone. It doesn't start at the age of 70. It starts around age 30. Without active muscle maintenance, adults lose 3 to 8% of muscle per decade after the age of 30 accelerating after the age of 50 and even faster after 65. And by the time frailty is visible, 30 to 40% of your muscle may already be gone. And this isn't just structural loss, it's metabolic loss because muscle is where insulin works. Muscle is where fuel is burned and muscle is where balance and power originate. So when muscle declines, the metabolism follows. Now add anabolic resistance. Anabolic resistance means your muscles become less responsive to protein and strength training as you age. So you eat the same meal, you do the same activity, but the muscle building response is blunted. This leads to slow repair, faster breakdown, poor recovery, progressive weakness, and anabolic resistance starts decades before frailty is even diagnosed. And it is accelerated by low protein intake, lack of resistance training, insulin resistance, chronic inflammation. This is why prediabetes and diabetes accelerate muscle loss. Insulin resistance is anabolic resistance. So frailty is a process, not an event it follows a very predictable pattern. You lose a little strength and you don't notice. You move less because things feel harder. You eat less protein because your appetite drops. Muscle shrinks. Metabolism slows down. Walking speed declines. Balance confidence fades. Fear increases. Activity decreases further. Then one small stressor, 
a cold, a fall, a hospitalization triggers a big setback. Frailty seems to appear suddenly, but it never was. So here's the most important truth. Frailty is preventable and often reversible, but it requires strategy. The strategy rests on three pillars. The first pillar is protein. Older adults need more protein, not less, because anabolic resistance blunts response. Protein must be sufficient per meal, not just per day. So that means most adults over 40 benefit from 30 to 40 grams of high quality protein per meal, prioritizing leucine rich sources. Protein is structural. Without it, muscle cannot rebuild, no matter how much exercise, no matter how much resistance. Second pillar, muscle resistance. Strength is the strongest predictor of independence, not your memory, not cardio, not lab results, strength. Even simple resistance, sit to stand, rows, step ups, carries, done two to three times per week, can rebuild muscle at any age. And the third pillar, movement. Movement tells your body, keep this muscle, I still need it. Daily walking, stairs, carrying, gardening, playing. These preserve coordination, balance, and confidence. Walking speed predicts longevity better than age. If any of these sound familiar, this message is for you. You're over 40 and not actively strength training. You lost weight, but you feel weaker. You have insulin resistance or prediabetes. You are avoiding stairs, kneeling, or the floor. Fatigue from simple tasks. Walking slower than you used to. Difficulty rising from the floor. Fear of falling. Declining grip strength. These are not failures, they are signals, and the signals can be answered. If you recognize yourself anywhere in this video, don't panic. You're not broken, it's not too late, you're not behind, frailty is not inevitable. Muscle responds at any age. Metabolism can improve. Strength returns faster than you think. Start small, add protein to breakfast, do five sit to stands, walk a little faster tomorrow. Strength train twice a week. These choices compound quickly. This didn't happen by luck. Uh, it happened by doing exactly what we talked about today. If I can rebuild strength, energy, and metabolic health, so can you. If this helped you see frailty differently, subscribe, like the video, share it with someone who needs hope. And next, go watch PT Monday next week. Linked, It'll be linked down here where I walk you through the exact frailty self-test and how to track your progress. Frailty is not your destiny. Strength is always available. I'll see you in the next video.